Hello, my name's Lisa, and I'd love to welcome you back if you've been here before. And if you're new, great to see you. In today's video, wow, we are going to be talking about a person that calls herself the vegan teacher, otherwise known as Miss Katie. And you probably won't believe this by the end of these videos. But she did, in fact, used to be a child's teacher. Just let that sink in because, as I said, by the end, you're going to be going, what the actual, how, how on earth was she ever in that job? I don't want any hate to go to this person, so please don't do that. And I just want to make one thing perfectly clear before we start. I don't care what you eat. I am not a vegan, I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not a pescatarian, I'm just a normal, average carnivore who loves meat. The fact I love meat is not why I am talking about this person. You can be anything you want to be, you can eat whatever you want to eat, I really don't care what anybody eats, as long as they are not trying to ram it down my throat which is really what this person does say person um bit tongue in cheek really because in my actual opinion i think she's crazy i think she's delusional and she says some heinous and unhinged things so we're going to take a look at three videos and if you're shocked in the first one then hold on to your hats until you see videos two and three. Let's do it. Hello students, welcome to class. Today we're going to be watching some terrible, terrible people who apparently said that they weren't eating animals for a really long time. And then they suddenly decided to try to taste their flesh. Why? Well, we don't know exactly why, but we know it is one of two reasons. One is that they were never vegan to begin with, and two, they were the scum of the earth and somebody paid them a huge amount of money to pay for the rape, torture, confinement, kidnapping, sadness, betrayal, and murder of innocent animals who never did a single thing wrong to them ever. Would you like to see these pieces of shit? Let's watch them together. You ready? Okay, let's watch. I'm gonna be tasting meat for the first time in about 30 years. Vegetarian, of course she's vegetarian. That's hilarious to start with, isn't it? She starts the video by saying that this is going to be vegans tasting meat, but they're not vegans, they're vegetarian. Then she does love controversy as we're going to find out as we go through these videos. Guys, in case you didn't know the difference, vegetarians are terrible people. They still go underneath cows and suckle them. That's right, boys and girls. Vegetarians still think that they're babies, and they also think that they're cows. So that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Miss, 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 I've just got to say, miss, stop talking just for a minute. You used to be a vegetarian. You said that in one of your other videos, that you were a vegetarian. So does that mean that you're what you've just called those people? You are that person as well? Oh, I'm glad we could agree on something. These people we all know are going to hell because it clearly says in the Bible, thou shalt not steal. So we shouldn't be stealing anything from animals, right? And it also says in the Bible, thou shalt not kill. So we don't believe in killing. Vegans are good. Vegans are awesome. Vegetarians are terrible, evil people who are all going to hell. Oh my God. It's sausage wet. Is that bacon around it, is it? How much money do you think that she was paid? How much? Take a guess. $1,000? $10,000? $100,000? A million dollars. Do you know how much they would have to pay me to eat meat? There is no amount of money on earth that they could pay me to eat meat because I don't want flesh in my body and I want to make sure that I get to heaven. And if you deliberately pay people to hurt animals, you go to hell. Everybody knows it. Be very careful, boys and girls out there. 
Yes, you heard that right. She really just said, if you eat meat, you're going to hell. And only vegans are going to heaven. See what I mean? I told you she's totally cuckoo. <laughs> well, I'm doing it, I'm touching it now. Anyway, I just couldn't imagine swallowing it. Why can't you imagine swallowing it? The, de the death has already occurred because you've agreed to be on this show, so they killed an animal for you. You might as well just eat it and shit it out, no? What's the difference? The problem was at the beginning where you agreed to be paid to show up here in the first place. That's the thing you did wrong. Hey, Miss High and Mighty, what about the thing you are doing wrong? Oh, yes, I know it's rude to point, but her, she deserves to be pointed at. What is she doing wrong? She's telling everyone they should be vegan. Uh, the last time I knew, I thought we all had our own brains and we were allowed to make our own choices as to what we put in our bodies no am i wrong now or is she wrong let's just quickly talk about some of the problems that vegans have because of the fact that they don't eat meat or eggs or dairy or they have low b12 they can suffer hypoglycemia they're deficient in calcium they suffer a low iron count they are at an increased risk of suffering from depression and they will also suffer hair loss and skin problems yeah that doesn't sound all that inviting to me really <gasps> no god no <laughs> what now are they eating a kitten is that the problem is it a puppy gosh even is it a frog what is that cutting this is hard so unbelievable i've got to be a hundred percent honest here i have just had a wonderful juicy steak for dinner before recording this video that is really ironic isn't it especially seeing i didn't cook the dinner my husband cooked it and he chose what we were having but I find that highly hilarious. Now we're going to go on to video two, and it did have some music at the beginning of it. I've no idea if it was copyrighted and she was talking over it. So I have cut the music out, and I'll tell you the context of what she's saying at the start of this video. So she says, should ambulance drivers respond to calls from non-vegans what do you think then she goes on to say what about people who know that hurting animals is wrong what do you think that animals would say oh i wish i could have left it in because it that just sounds so ridiculous doesn't it but honestly that is what she said i might even link the video down below so you can watch the beginning of it and then it continues like this how do you think that horses would respond to this who have been forced to train year after year because their master wants to be in the olympics and these horses want nothing to do with being in the olympics they just want to be left alone with their families to run on a beach somewhere or in a field man you obviously know shit all about horses because if a horse does not want to do anything it's going to refuse you cannot make a horse do something it doesn't want to do how do you think that animals feel like sheep who have been pinned down and who have been shaved year after year because they were bred into existence in the first place just to be used as commodities because somebody wants to steal their wool know exactly how sheep feel by being sheared they feel absolutely fantastic because the wool doesn't stop growing so you know they probably wouldn't be able to move after x amount of years without being sheared they feel so much cooler so that's got to be a relief 
it helps their babies to suckle because they can actually find the teeth easier than when the sheep is covered in wool, which is why they do it before the lambing season. And that's just three things that I feel that the sheep thinks. Obviously, I'm not Dr. Doolittle, so I can't actually talk to the animals. Maybe she thinks she can, though. How do you think that the bees would feel about this? The bees who work their entire lives for a little bit of honey for themselves, and then these giant bullies come along and steal it from them. She is just unbelievable. She obviously knows absolutely nothing about animals. Bees make honey. Yes, that is what they do. And we need bees to survive and keep this planet alive. But when they build a hive, it's all full of the honey and the beekeepers take it from the top. So they're not stealing it. The bees don't actually need it, love. You see, the question isn't really supposed to be meant for me. I mean, I am a spokesperson for the animals because I have a heart, because I have empathy, because I can imagine being in their shoes. But here's the thing. Yes, yes, the ambulance drivers should show up because some people who are calling are not aware about what's going on. Like me, when I was about 20 years old or 15 or whatever, before I became vegetarian, before I would... You were a vegetarian. Oh, didn't you say in that other video that vegetarians were evil and they go to hell? Is that where you're going then, Miss Katie? It was a mistake, by the way. I should have been vegan, but I was vegetarian for years. Before I became vegan, I just didn't know better. And so, yes, of course, we should answer the calls. But it depends who is calling. For example, if a child is calling the ambulance because their mom fell off a chair or they're in trouble or whatever, yeah, of course we have to have compassion for people who've just never thought about veganism before. But let's talk about somebody who, let's say, owns a corporation and is making money off the backs of these animals. People who use animals, people who use horses or pigs or cows or chickens or turkeys, and they make money off of commodifying them. What about those people? What about the people who I've spoken to year after year and ask them to please stop hurting animals? What should happen to them? Should people respond to the phone calls of those people who deliberately hurt animals and encouraged millions of people to do the same thing? What do you guys think? I personally think that you are an absolute monster. You are foul. You are disgusting. And ambulances should attend every single call that they are sent on. Because that's their job. That's what they're trained to do. They don't say to the dispatcher, oh, hang on a minute. I'm only going if they're vegan. Don't be so bloody ridiculous. Right now, this is the last video. And believe me when I say this is the most shocking one of all. This is where she shows her true, true, true colours. So we're going to see some sexism here. So buckle up. Imagine that this is your baby and you ask your sister to babysit for a little while because you have to run some errands. Imagine that you tell your sister that you are vegan and you don't want your baby to eat any animal products. You trust your sister because you think your sister loves you and respects you. But when you're not looking, your sister takes the dead body part of an innocent animal who didn't want to die and feeds it to your child. She starts off there with a sort of valid point. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, I'm vegan, so I want my child to be vegan. Well, I'm sorry, I actually don't agree with that. You be vegan, yeah, you're old enough to choose, but your baby is not. So unpopular opinion or not, that's mine. I do not agree with making children vegetarians or vegans. Children need a normal, balanced diet, and that includes meat. 
So some people are going to say her point was valid, but in my opinion, no, it wasn't. Then she makes a video and she posts it for everyone to see. But the feedback she gets isn't of people scolding her for being cruel and betraying her sister's trust. The feedback she gets is praise. This is the kind of vegan phobic world we live in, where a vegan mother cannot even trust her own family to follow her instructions and not betray her. I don't agree that people are vegan phobic. They just don't want it coming at them from every angle possible. They don't want it shoved down their throats. They want to eat what they want to eat and they want you to eat what you want to eat. I don't care what you eat, so why on earth should you care what I eat? Bloody hell, even the vegans don't claim you. They say they would likely turn back to me because of all the shit that you spew all the time. Millions of people have seen this video and have commented that they think it is funny and they somehow think that this is proof that the baby wants the meat. But look closely. This meat is covered in barbecue sauce, which is made of salt, sugar, and spices. The baby is enjoying the barbecue sauce, which is vegan. I looked extremely closely at that rib and I really couldn't see it covered in barbecue sauce. And the funniest thing of all is you saying that barbecue sauce is vegan because actually, no, it's not. Let's have a look. These are the ingredients for a homemade barbecue sauce. This is the ingredient we need to take notice of. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. If, is Worcestershire sauce lolly... vegan? Answer, no. If this had been a lollipop, the child would have had the same reaction. If this had been somebody's penis covered in sauce, the child would have had the same reaction. Oh my God. Yes, she really just said that. I'm not going to repeat it, but what the actual hell? I mean, I said this teacher loves controversy. Well, that's part of what I was talking about. I mean, I just can't believe that she actually said it, posted it, and uploaded it. She probably even edited the video. Well, she must have done to put the captions in, and yet she still posted it. Is she just rage baiting, do you think? Or do you think she really means what she said? Hmm. Might want to hang on a minute before you answer that question because it may get answered for you in the next section. Let that sink in for a minute. Ponder that. Picture that. That is vile and disgusting. Why on earth would anybody in their right mind want to picture that? I can't even imagine how you even thought about it let alone said it on a video. You seriously need help, madam. Feel that in your gut. Let that imagery wash all over your body. And before you can scream and yell and say that there is a big difference between the two, I invite you right now to try to articulate that. Because, in fact, there is no difference. There is an absolutely massive difference you heinous vile disgusting foul excuse for a human being well that's it for this video if it's been educational and different please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next video ta-ta for now